Hi, welcome back. So today we'll be looking at the butterfly sweep. So this is just a generic uh, bog standard butterfly sweep or my version of it. Um, we can do this from double butterfly, single butterfly with a half guard leg, um, kind of whichever you prefer. Okay, so I'm going to start with a single butterfly with the half guard leg in. Okay, so this position here. Now, the reason we need a butterfly needs to be in your game for your nogi sweeping. Okay, it's one of the primary things you're going to use. Butterfly guard uh, is one of the most dangerous things we can use. Um, in particular, when we can move on later to leg locking abilities, this will come in um, massively. Okay, so we've got a butterfly hook in and we've got our half guard leg through. So we've got a single leg butterfly at the moment. So from this position, okay, we're going to sweep into the upper right quadrant again. So the first thing we're going to do is look to control the base. Okay, so the base we can control this any way we want. Uh, wrist control, um, an under grip wrist control. Basically, you just need to stop his hand hitting the floor. Okay, one of the strongest things we can do is try to pass this grip to an overhook grip. So we actually achieve a two to one. Okay, a two to one. So I've got an overhook and wrist control with my one hand. This would be my dream um, grip set for a butterfly sweep. But let's just assume for a second we've only got the the wrist control. Okay, or like an over under, anything like this will do. Okay, so we're in this position here. So we've got the base. We obviously need to get to that upper right quadrant. So one of the things um, that I think developed a lot in the Nogi game in particular was um, leg locks in the last um, probably five years or so, maybe more. And basically it kind of changed how a lot of people were butterfly sweeping um, to the ability to set up leg locks. And also people on top became a lot more savvy to um, the elevating game for leg lock entries and therefore sort of distribute their weight a lot better. So when I actually do my butterfly sweep, I try to not kick my butterfly leg for kind of as long as possible. So in this position here, I don't just immediately start extending my legs to try and kick my partner over because often now they'll hip switch it or start to get heavy and make your life hard work, okay? So what I actually am going to try and do it in my butterfly sweep position, my over under grip, okay, or wrist control over hook, whichever works for you. First thing we're going to try and do is we're going to try and again detach the weight from that heel, okay, get that anchor point and um, lift the person up. So I'm going to generate from my butterfly hook, even my half guard leg and my over hook, everything here on my left hand side of my body right now is going to elevate his body towards me. Okay, I'm going to try and elevate his body all the way towards me, like this, all the time. So from this position here, what I'm actually going to do to start trying to get my butterfly sweep is I'm going to start actually with a shoulder shrug and my knee pushing into the ribs, okay? So I'm actually going to start trying to generate force just from pushing through my shoulder and my knee, okay, down to the mat here. Okay, I don't mind that the, the forehead's onto the floor because that pivot point, the pivot point of his forehead here is still a lot shorter than if his hand were to go out to the mat here. Yeah, to, to get all the way over that point is much harder. If the head goes down, that's fine, because I now understand that I just need to get the weight over to here, uh, and this won't matter, because it's a very short base. So from this position here, once we've started to get the weight moving, okay, again, like the weight's over us, which is fantastic. It means our legs are as strong as they can be. And we now started to get him to go down over the original pivot point, and now his head's gone to the mat, okay? So we just keep going through that. So to generate a higher position, okay, like a higher leverage position, we're now going to take the, butt, the half guard leg, okay, this leg, and we're going to put our toes to the mat. Okay, so our toes are going to point down to the mat. So basically, we can start trying to hip up. And imagine trying to hip up and over his shoulder. Imagine trying to hip up and over his shoulder here. So from this position now, I'm trying to generate a nice leverage um, position on him because I'm higher than him, and his weight is already going towards the floor. From here, now I can start to push off my toes to lift my hips higher drive through my hips and if you notice my heel doesn't actually need to leave my bum at all in this butterfly sweep see i don't need to actually extend my butterfly sweep at all like my butterfly leg doesn't have to kick okay so in this position catch okay so we've got the base remember we've got the elevation of that weight okay we've got the center of mass okay we understand we've got, we're getting the weight over us now which is good okay a lot of people don't want the weight to come on to you but when it's in a controlled environment, that's brilliant because this is where most of your power is going to generate from. From this scenario here, all I'm going to think now is where the pivot point is. Okay, so the pivot point, look, his head's on the mat. And I just need to get his weight to come just a fraction higher until gravity starts to work for me instead of against me. So my toes hit the mat, my hips elevate, 
as if I'm trying to wrap myself around his shoulder here. See, because that's going to get the most weight going through into this upper quadrant that we want. Now I can just push my toes off the mat to keep my hips going higher. Drive through my hips. So I start to complete my sweep. Okay, the most important thing while sweeping isn't actually the initial maybe 10%. It's the last 10%. If you think about, think about a submission and how much output people sort of generate when you get close to a submission, with sweeping and passing, it's the same. The first 90 people defend or work against you, like a relative amount. Once you actually get really close, they both escalate quickly and the output starts to go higher. So to complete our sweep, we have to be, we have to put the most effort at the end part, not just the start part. Okay, so that is the um, butterfly sweep.